also had a great manager to to kind of lead your <laughs> way. I, um, <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So yeah, tell me a little bit about uh, about Ed. Who's this this guy? That's I I would imagine he, you would consider him a member of Dire Straits. Yes, I mean, I think that that you know, if you've got a good manager, he is he's part of the he's definitely part of the team, and he goes the whole whole way with you. I mean, he, he, for him, he was learning on the on the job too, in a sense because he was working for a, a booking agency at the time. And, and uh, he basically, as soon as he saw the band, he went up to the record company and said, I want to manage this lot. And, they, and this was his first managerial job. Um, so he was finding his way. As it turned out, he was really rather good at it. <laughs> um, but I think it helped considerably that we had a, a degree of success early on. So it gave him a bit more wait you know when he went asking for things and uh to, to help with the band and everything you know doing deals and he's a he was a great deal maker i mean i've got a lot of respect for ed uh, you could drive he could drive you completely nuts on occasions but he's a great storyteller and kept us amused for hours on the road you know um and great raconteur um and 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 he 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 knew the business he knew uh, he, he basically peter grant from Led Zeppelin was his mentor. Uh, he, <laughs> of course, Peter Grant was slightly, slightly more explosive than Ed, I think. 